Hi guys, this is Tess Walters with the Spurta Nail Products. Today I'm going to show you how you can use stick tight and bond any tip to the natural nail. And we are not going to etch the tips. We're not going to etch the nail. We're just going to clean and sanitize with alcohol. Let that dry. And then we're going to use our um, tips, whatever tips you want, and we're going to size the client. So when you want to size your client, you want to take your tip at a 45 degree angle and go straight down. Now, if your, if your nail is in the cuticle, you just need to lightly sand and file on the side where you think it's a little bit too big. And I'm thinking like right in here and right in here. Yeah, I think that looks really good. Now we're gonna put our tips over to the side because we're going to apply primer in the tip after we get done sizing our tips. And we're gonna let that dry while we're doing the other hand. Oh, and I'll show you where it's big so you can make sure you're looking for that. You see that it's in the sidewalls. And over here, it's in the sidewalls a little bit too. You want to just file a little bit at a time because if you file too much, it's not gonna fit, right? Still a little bit too large. Still a little bit too large. Okay, there we go. That's good. Now that one looks really good to me. Coming straight out of the cuticle track. So we're gonna put that over here, out of the way. That looks good. Oh, that fits pretty good. A little bit farther down. Make sure if it's wide in a certain area that you file it only in that area. Don't just file willy-nilly because they will not fit in other areas. Okay, now we're gonna switch hands. And I'm gonna put some primer in the well of the tip. on the hand I just sized, then that way they'll dry.
I've done it before without any primer and it works just fine. This gel, Stick Tight, is amazing. But I'm showing you how to do it with primer because if I didn't, you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> You're already probably going, oh my gosh, she doesn't use anything on the nail. No primer on the nail, how's that gonna fit? How's that gonna stay? I'm telling you, it works. Oh, lost a tip, I got it. <clears throat> yeah, Mr. Esperta told me that I should tell people they don't have to use primer. I said, I'm not telling them that. <laughs> they have to find out on their own that they can do that. So I'm telling you, I've done it. It saves you time, it saves you money. And do it on yourself. Be really hard on your nails and do it on yourself and then that way you'll know. Don't use any oil, don't wear gloves when you do housework, like I did, and you will be amazed at how this stick tight works, it's amazing. Okay, now we're gonna do this other hand. Size it, that looks great. We're getting lucky on this hand. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs> we watched uh, this uh, documentary about Janis Joplin the other day. What did you think? It was great. Yeah. Was it? Uh, what was it on? Uh, I think it was on Netflix. I'm not sure. So if you hold the nail tip next to the nail, hold it in a downward position so you can see have the width of the nail. Not you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you can tell that you're gonna need primer all the way down here if you're gonna use it. And that's how you can tell how much uh, stick tight to use also. Then that way you don't have a bunch of gel uh, overflow. Oop. These long nails and just lost a tip. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna go to Chicago. So I put some new nails on and I should have done it a couple days ago because I'm not used to them yet. <laughs> and here I am giving a little nail, nail demo. I think I just picked up a little hair. There it is.
Okay, one more to go. I gotta try this one again. I can't believe this fits you. <laughs> so skinny. Huh? It does, all right. <laughs> one on the left, or the, yeah, your right hand is so much bigger. Yes, it is. <laughs> Okay, switch. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to start with the pinky and we're going to apply stick tight to the natural nail with the tip. So, I want my stick tight to flow from here to here. I'm not gonna cut her nails off because she can have nails where she works, but she's a good model for me. She's always available. Thank you very much. Uh, so I'm going to try to put a little petal in the well of the tip with my stick tight in hopes that it won't overflow down here. I personally feel that that's just a little bit too much, so I'm gonna take a little bit out. Now watch and we'll see how it works. Okay, let's put it at a 45 degree angle. Okay, now see that? It's stopping before it gets to the end. You wanna apply the right amount of pressure My long nails are getting in the way. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a brush. Okay. Now this is our 10 second cure light. It looks like a flashlight because it is a flashlight. <laughs> it's in an old housing unit for the flashlights. We put new technology in this new Esperta flashlight and it has the power to cure everything that has gel in it in 10 seconds. So stick with me. We're gonna show you some more. I'm getting ready to go to Chicago. And um, I'm gonna have demo days there. That's why I put these long nails on. <laughs> Okay, that fits pretty good. Okay, now see, if I smash this, I could push it all the way to the end, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna let the gel fill in those areas, okay? If you have to smash your tip down to get it where you want it, to get the gel where you want it to go, then you're not doing it right. You may be able to smash it down and keep it there, but it's not gonna have a really good fit.
got it on a little crooked. Or is that just your nail? That might just be me. Oh, look. It does come out this way if you look at the joint. Mm hmm We can alter the nail a little bit as we're putting it on. Just straighten it out a little bit. Looks like I got a little air bubble. But that's okay, as long as it's not in the side walls or the cuticle. Yeah, it's right there. It's good, it's not on the edge anywhere, so it's fine. Okay, although we don't want to get those. Okay, let's check. Okay, I put my gel a little bit too far down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. See how that fits? Okay, see that? I brought it up. Okay, I didn't have to press down on that very hard at all, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this fits. Okay, I'm gonna push that back up because maybe it won't go on our skin if I do that. Mm, that worked pretty good.
Okay, now we're gonna put your whole hand in the light for 30 seconds. Obviously, we have a 10 second cure light, but we only use it when it makes sense. It doesn't make sense to cure every nail on this hand because that would take 50 seconds with our 10 second cure lamp. So you can get your whole hand done in 30 seconds. So we don't use this all the time. We use it when it makes sense to save time and not go in the 30 second lamp because we wanna save time. That's why we made it, okay? We have uh, many uses for this. I'm gonna be in Chicago this Sunday and Monday. If you guys are anywhere near, you need to come and check it out. Bring a bottle of gel polish or pot, a pot of gel and we'll cure it. No problem. Anything that's got gel in it, we'll cure it. Okay, we've shaped our nails and now we're gonna buff them, get the shine off. Show people the nail you picked out. This is what she wants. <laughs> Woohoo! Hey. I've got holo on my nails too. I love it. I can't live without holo. Mm -mm. I'm telling you. See how you've relaxed into a Just, elbow bend? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now you've said something and I'll get a tense up again. <laughs> I should have bought wine. <laughs> okay, we've polished her nails the color she wants and now we're gonna put holo on. So we've gotta put Ultra Shine Top Gel on top of her nails. This is a two ounce refill bottle and it will Fill your 15 mil table bottle four times. So this bottle is $30 and that makes each one of your table bottles only $7.50. So that is a big savings. I love that about Asperta. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna put some top coat on this gale here. Now, when we cure Ultra Shine, we cure it for 60 seconds because it has the ultimate shine. It just comes out so much more after 60 seconds. But we're gonna put Holo on and then we're gonna have to put uh, Ultra Shine on again to protect the Holo. So we'll do it. Uh, in 60 seconds when we're done covering the holo. But to do the holo, I'm only gonna cure each nail for about eight seconds. And I'm gonna do it in the lamp because I can count, um, 
I can count in my head eight seconds and then just tell her to come out. But I'm not gonna cure each nail for seven seconds with my um, 10 second cure light because that wouldn't make any sense. So we only use it when it makes sense. Like when you have a nail repair or when you're doing crystals. Oh my gosh, when you're doing crystals, you can cure them right on the nail, right in place. There is no way that I wouldn't use it for crystals because the only way that we have to do crystals right now is to put them in the 30 second lamp and hope for the best because you can't spot cure, I mean totally, fully cure your crystals unless you have one of Asperta's lamps. I just did my nails because I'm going to Chicago and I'm going to have demo days at Lenami and I'm going to demo all kinds of gel. We're going to cure everything that has gel in it in 10 seconds. So if you want to get in on the fun, just bring a pot or a bottle of gel and we will cure it with the 10 second cure lamp. You guys can go to my Instagram at nail art connect and you can find me at the nail art connection on Facebook. I also have Esperta nail products group and I have Tess Walters dash education group. So I have lots of pictures, videos, that kind of stuff. Okay, now we're gonna put her in the lamp and I'm gonna count one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, six, 1,000, seven, 1,000, eight, 1,000. Okay, come on out. Now we're going to take the holo and this is the fun part. <laughs> I swear, I cannot live without holo. I've got oh. it on my nails right now. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. I mean, when they made holo, the nail goddess just sings. <laughs> okay, now, this is how I do it. I tap it. the nails are still a little bit warm and then you can just run it all up and down where's my lid I usually tap it in the lid Okay. These nails of mine are in the way. <laughs> when you do this, you gotta be careful you don't nick the nail with your own nails. Let's see, we have to put a top coat on after this so we can protect the holo because it'll come off if you don't.
Okay. It's fun to watch, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Play this video back and see how many times we listen to this song. I gotta keep my little piece balled up down here. Okay, now you can move that hand out of the way. <laughs> And now we're going to cure her nails for 60 seconds in the 30 second lamp. Okay, go ahead and go in the lamp. Okay, so we used stick tight to apply her nail tips. Uh, the tips I was using are from Asperta, but you can use any tips with stick tight. And I don't care what tips you're using, you do not have to etch the tips or your natural nail. You only put primer on the tip and you only use alcohol, like high grade alcohol, 90% uh, on the natural nail to clean and sanitize. And then you apply this to the tip like you just saw me do in the video and rock it on and do not push it down. Wait until you get enough gel in that tip to where you just lay it down because if you smash it down, that's not gonna give you a good enough bond because you want the gel to move into position. It, you want the gel to flow down into the flat areas and fill in those areas, because it will do that if you don't push and you know smash the tip down. So that's my story and I'm gonna stick to it. And I'm gonna show you her nails now. Come on out. <laughs> Here's her beautiful nails that we just did. Oh, I can't see it. Let me stand up for a second because I cannot see. Let's move the light out of the way. Okay, go like this. All right, no, let's we'll bring them in here. So, aren't those beautiful? Beautiful hola nails. Woo! <laughs> Gorgeous! I have hole on my nails too. <laughs> okay guys, well, thanks for watching. And please like and share, okay? Because a lot of people would be very interested to know how to use stick tight with all the tips that they have. And this is legit awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay guys, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>